Why the Winterfell Crypt plan will end in disaster on Game of Thrones. This week we're getting the battle to end all battles, and no, we're not talking about Tony Stark and Thanos in Avengers Endgame, we're talking about that other Stark family and the battle between the living and the dead on Game of Thrones. As an aside, how crazy is it that we're getting so much payoff to multiple fandoms in a single week? I like that. It's a lot. Now, before we get into things, spoilers, obviously, if you missed out on last week's episode, now's your chance to grab a glass of milk and turn this video off. Still here? Good! As we saw in last Sunday's episode, most of our favorite characters in the land of Westeros have gathered at the Stark ancestral home of Winterfell as they make plans on how to defeat the army of the dead, which hinges on targeting the Night King and hoping that the rest of his army will fall like dominoes. Basically, they're going to use Bran's connection to the Night King to lure him out and then destroy him while all of the civilians and non-combatants will safely hide out in the crypts beneath Winterfell until the battle is done. Sounds legit to us. Except, no, that's a terrible plan. And here is why the Winterfell Crypt plan will end in disaster, even with that brave little girl guarding them all. She's so dead. I want to fight too. Seriously, every time the word crypt was said, it filled us with more and more dread, and it was mentioned a lot. It's going to be safer down in the crypt. Are you going to be down in the crypt? I'm down in the crypt. I'm going to be in the crypt. I'll defend the crypt then. We'll put you in the crypt. You'll be in the crypt. You'll be safer in the crypt. Down in the crypt. Plus, we've seen a lot of the crypts this season, from the show's updated opening credits to a promo of the Stark siblings creeping below the keep. These crypts are spread out beneath Winterfell and is where the bodies of the Stark lords and ladies have been buried for centuries. On the surface, it's not a bad place to hide, as evidenced by Bran and Rickon hiding there right beneath Theon's nose during the Theon is the worst phase. Plus, the castle is surrounded by the dead. There's literally no other place to keep the civilians out of the way of the fight to come. They have been literally backed into a corner. Which is the problem? Everyone not fighting is trapped down there with no place to go. Imagine if one white walker or even some of the whites managed to break in. It will be a literal bloodbath that will end with every single one of those non-combatants becoming a white. But it gets even worse than that. Remember how we mentioned how the crypts entombed centuries of Starks? A White Walker might not even need to break into the crypts because all of those helpless people are already surrounded by corpses just waiting to be reanimated by the Night King like we saw him do at Hardhome. Now the stakes have never been higher than in this battle. This is it. For every living soldier lost, the dead gain a soldier. We can only hope that someone has a trick up their sleeve that we haven't seen yet. Hopefully Danny's dragons will be able to do some heavy damage to the undead army, and hopefully they are prepared to counter the Night King's undead dragon, and hopefully Arya's new weapon will take out all of the White Walkers. That's a lot of hopefullys. Now, it wouldn't be Game of Thrones without the good guy's plan entirely resting on small glimmers of hope in a hopeless situation. We'll just have to wait until Sunday evening to find out how well the plan works. This will be an 82-minute episode, so that will be plenty of time to watch the plan fail and all of our favorite characters die before our eyes. I think we might live. But what do you guys think? Who will win the Battle of Winterfell? What will Cersei be up to during all of this? And will Arya's new weapon take down the Ice Dragon? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video or go live with a show. And speaking of shows, if you didn't get enough Game of Thrones with today's episode, be sure to check out our after show, All Kings Considered, where we break down all of the latest and the greatest in the world of Westeros. You best believe we'll have a lot to discuss during the next episode. You can catch the show live on Nerdist YouTube or Geek and Sundry's Twitch every Monday at noon Pacific.